welcome to London. I'm Stephanie and I'm here to bring you guys at home the latest fashion news from one of the biggest fashion capitals in the entire world. And today it's no exception because we're going to be delving into the world of publishing. Now we're going to be talking to the creator of Illustration magazine. That's right, you've heard me correctly. It's illustration meets trash and fashion and we're going to find out all about it. So let's go find out. So I'm currently in Shoreditch with the editor in chief at Craft. I can't believe it. I last spoke to you maybe about a year ago, and we're here now with your brand new issue zero yes. of your magazine. I know, right? And your style is really unique as well. Tell me a little bit about your style of drawing people. They always look really kind of eerie and they're very different as well. Yeah, so, so it's a vision I have, you know, so. My main goal is always to get stimulated by people's personality as well. So I really try to absorb this first to then translate it into my line, which is like very free and without limits, you know. Yeah. This is why you will have like maybe an arm that long. <laughs> Even just, you know, for me to express my vision of, of that particular person or subject, yeah. So tell me, how have you gone from um, the freelance illustration to creating your very own magazine? Well, it took me almost two years I would say to be honest and the thing is because I mean it's very autonomous I would say what's of the world yeah so it's really for my own person that the product came out so so I've worked uh, however with a lot of contributors like other creatives illustrators writers which I had to meet you know and to brief them about the main concept and they really really supported me and very grateful I mean thankful for this you know and so yeah I will say it's it's a collaboration project uh, even if the idea came from myself but I try to teach people to not really to get into my brain but to use it somehow and you know to get to play with how I function you know like to use the mood boards that I provided um, the, the stories behind them and everything, you know, just to inspire them, to teach them something and and to see how it goes, you know, so, so it's basically a big book full of contributions, you know, and collaborations, which is amazing. How do you find the right people to contribute and collaborate with? That must be pretty hard, knowing to find someone who's on your wavelength, who knows exactly what the magazine's about and what they need to do. Is that, is that a hard process or are they people that you've worked with over time and you've built that relationship with? Well, yeah, mainly they are friends. So the fashion editor of the magazine is my, my good friend Sora Paul, which is a fashion designer. So I thought it's very relevant, you know, to have him joining me on the team. And he supported me very much and we've done all the fashion stories, the editorials and, and everything together. So he, he has more an idea of fashion, a better idea of fashion, I would say, than me, while I'm more the creative kind of person. And we just kind of find a balance and obviously not too commercial, I would say, but very crazy, you know, like, like I usually am. Say, you know, <laughs> I've called it illustration, which is what I've produced actually before that. So all my drawings, I call them illustrations. So it's like a play word of, you know, illustration, but then fashion, but then also trash. So it's, it goes everything, those three words like in, in it. So I didn't want it to, to be too pretentious, maybe I will say. So I tried to, you know, to take a step back and just to, you know, to give it a try and see whether people will like it and have a good feedback, you know. And what about the name Myth? Because that's the the name of Issue Zero, yes, Myth. so the myth of mythology, basically. So the whole, the main theme of the issue is about mythology, so, which is for me my, my main inspiration in everything I'm doing. So when, when I have like a blackout or I'm looking for inspiration, so mythology is always the, the theme that inspires me. So yeah, so Any particular myth? Is there anything that's really I mean, like key or important to you? Well, I'm a lot inspired by Greek mythology, like in general, to, to, to be more specific. But, but any myth, yeah, because it always has a moral. So I'm very like, I mean, morals are very important, I would say, especially nowadays with a lot is happening, you know, and people lose their, their morality, I would say, you know, like 
whether what to follow, what is good, what is bad, you know, we don't know. So because it's just a melting pot. So it's good to go back in history and see how what big people, I mean, big philosophers and writers, you know, have, have thought us to, to follow, you know, so yeah. So guys, there you have it, at Craft's very first magazine, issue zero. And I can't wait to see how myth transforms next year when it's all about feminism and female power. And he even said, I might have a little bit of a section in it, so we shall see. Keep your eyes on this space. But sadly, that's all we've got time for. You've been watching me on the hottest fashion network where we bring you the most exclusive events in London. If you want to get in touch with me, my Twitter handle is on the bottom of the screen. I would love to hear from you. But until then, thank you so much watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.